Welcome back to another Football Friday. My name is Michael Mendenhall, and we talk about the last week of NFL news every Friday. So come back next week if you want some more. Now let's get started. All right, the biggest news of the week is that the NFL schedules were released. We're not going to talk about your specific team because I really don't fucking care. But a couple highlights here. Chiefs. They're going to be hosting the Lions to start out the season on September 7th. So that's pretty exciting. We're only a few months away. Uh, Rodgers and his Jets, right, face off against the Bills on Monday Night Football that, you know, following Monday. So that's pretty exciting just to see the top dog and Jets and the top dog and the Bills come out each other. That AFC is ridiculous, to be honest. Now, on week four, we're finally going to have a Rodgers Mahomes face to face. Really, they're facing the defense. But anyways, we're finally going to see it in week four because Rodgers had COVID last time they were supposed to match up. So I'm excited to see it. The Jaguars, not only are they going to play two different games, international games in London, but they're going to play back to back weeks. So they can just stay there and get kind of acclimated to London. Chill out. Maybe, you know, get that British accent. Get that British accent and drink some tea. Jordan Love was in the news this week. Basically, he just spoke. And people were like, oh, he has a voice? He can speak? What? And basically what he said was, I was annoyed, disappointed when Rodgers signed a contract last year because he didn't know what that meant for him. And that's pretty fucking human of him. That's pretty fucking normal. And I just kind of hate the media for like saying, oh, look at fucking Jordan Love. He's a normal guy. Of course he's a fucking normal guy. Like, ridiculous i just can't wait until the start of the season we can finally see jordan love play a little bit and we can actually know if he's good or fucking garbage but i i'm hopeful i'm hopeful for the season i'm hopeful for his career um let's hope we get back to back to back hall of famers all right so brett Favre is finally dropping his pat mcafee lawsuit which is great because it was a pretty dumb lawsuit um for like slander against Pat McAfee for saying something on his show, allegedly. Um, so it's just kind of wild, but I'm finally like, it's it's great news that he's finally dropping that fucking issue. <music> Talking about another ex-quarterback, Tom Brady is going to get honored in the first Patriots home game of 2023, which like we all knew this was coming once he finally officially retired, officially retired. But, uh, you know, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm glad. You know, Tom Brady, for all of his fucking mistakes and shit, he still has seven rings. So, like, the man's the GOAT. All right, we're going to talk about the Packers schedule real quick, just because I'm a huge Packers fan. So, we start out on the year going to Chicago. It's going to be kind of fun seeing Justin Fields and uh, Jordan Love kind of face off against each other and see what these young quarterbacks really have. Uh, then we go to Atlanta the next week. Atlanta's kind of scary. They, I don't really have faith in their quarterback um, just because he's still fucking young, but uh, their other parts of their team is pretty crazy. So I don't think they're going to be a great team this year, but, you know, definitely formable. Um, but both of those games seem kind of winnable in my mind. We were going to host the Saints, so we got Derek Carr coming into the house. Um, they're still going to be trying to figure themselves out. We're going to be trying to figure ourselves out. Uh, but our defense is pretty stout, so hopefully. Uh, so, again, another winnable game. Now, the fourth game we're going to lose, right? Um, we're going to host Detroit, but I have faith that Detroit is going to win our division, and they're just going to kick our ass. It was a primetime game, though, and it's on a Thursday, so that's pretty cool. And then the next game we have is the Raiders, so we're going to be going down to Las Vegas, and that's on a Monday night. So we're going to have a big break there between those two games. And then after that game, which is probably going to be a win, we go into our bye week. Um, and so we're going to have a huge like month of almost no games, which is pretty exciting. At least like three weeks of just like very spaced out game. Then we're going to go ahead and face the Denver Broncos, which if Russ actually cooks and he's doing better under Sean Payton, I could definitely see us losing that game. Uh, then we go ahead and host Minnesota. Again, probably tight game. Probably going to lose it. Um, going on to the next week, we're going to host uh, the Rams, which Matt Stafford, if he's Matt Stafford, then probably going to lose that one too. Then we go over to Pittsburgh, and I could see us coming out of Pittsburgh with a win. Then we go ahead and host the other LA team, which I don't even know what the fuck they're doing. Um, they might be a 
crazy. It might be terrible. I don't really know, but they are in the AFC this year, and AFC is killing it. So they could just destroy us. Talking about Detroit. No, it's just Detroit. Um, we're going to go down to their house again. I think we're going to lose our game against them uh, when we host them. And then this is going to be on Thanksgiving. So I think this is Lions year that they're finally going to win on Thanksgiving. It's going to be crazy. Uh, but yeah, I definitely think they're going to beat us. Kansas City, probably another loss. It's going to be on a uh, Sunday night football game. So just probably another loss against KC in prime time or the revenge of Jordan Love. We'll see what happens. Uh, we continue on going to New York the next week. And I can see us beat New York. I can see New York being just a shitty team just because it's the Giants and they're always kind of mediocre. Next week, we host Tampa Bay. It's going to be in December. They're going to be all cold and shit. Baker Mayfield. I think we got this. I think we're going to win that Tampa Bay game. Easy done. Boom. Chuckalock. Carolina. It's going to be a nice December 24th. So Christmas Eve game. I can see us winning, but with Bryce Young going there, who really knows how well he's going to be? But I have faith in Jordan Love over Bryce Young. Again, Jordan Love has sat behind Aaron fucking Rodgers for three years now so i think he's gonna come into this season and just be a dog but if he's not we could probably lose that game sunday night football game against minnesota at minnesota if we didn't beat him at home i don't see us winning here but if we did beat him at home then plausibly we could we could do it and then on january 7th we go ahead and fight off chicago so we start with chicago we end with chicago hopefully we beat them both times but at least they're going to be in Green Bay, so we close on January 7th in Green Bay against the Bears. How cool is that? Justin Fields, Doran Love get into the next season with each other. I think it's going to be super interesting. Um, we may be able to pull out 10, 11 wins. We may be able to pull out four wins. Who fucking knows? Nobody knows till we get there. Um, so, realistically, yeah, we could be a playoff team. Uh, realistically, we could be dog shit, too. Again, it really all just depends on Jordan Love, how he's playing. That's the breakdown for the Packers' schedule. And uh, this week's news has been pretty fucking garbage. So come back for next week's NFL news. Uh, hopefully something fucking happens this week. But we're really getting to that boring time of this year that just NFL news is hard to come by. Anyways, hope you have a wonderful day. Miss you. Love you. Toodaloo.